Hey everybody, this week we're gonna look at an acoustic guitar. This is my Taylor GS Mini. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started with this review, I just want you to subscribe down below and also make sure to click that notifications icon so you get all of my latest content. So this week, I'm looking at an acoustic guitar. I know, there's no DIY pedals, no DIY amps, no rebuilds, nothing of that sort, nothing electric. Well, maybe a little bit electric that we'll get to in a second, but it's purely acoustic. Um, this is the first review I've done of anything like this that's not kind of a kit or a DIY. Um, it's also the first review I've done of anything manufactured. Obviously, this is made by Taylor. Uh, you know, it's a, a complete product. I didn't have to assemble anything. So it's new for me. It's new for you guys. It's the first time I've done it. It might be the last time I, I do it based on, you know, what the response is. But I just felt necessary to tell you guys a little bit about this guitar because over the past few weeks, it seems like it's the one that's always in my hand. Um, for those of you who have electric guitars, you probably have an acoustic somewhere in the house as well. And if you don't, I would highly recommend that you take a look at these Taylor GS Minis. So first, a little background on the Taylor GS Mini and what it is. It's not a full-size guitar. It's actually a 23 and a half inch scale length and GS Grand Symphony, it's a scaled down version of the Grand Symphony by Taylor. So it does look awfully similar to my Grand Auditorium back there. Obviously no cutaway, but it's a, it's a little bit different of a body shape. The GS Minis come in a bunch of different variations. This one obviously is mahogany. It has Sapelli back and sides. Um, you can also get them with spruce tops with walnut back and sides, rosewood back and sides. Uh, there's a Koa version as well. So there's, there's lots of different types of these GS Minis. Um, all the same shape. Electronics can differ a little bit and I'll get into that as well. A couple other things about this guitar other than the body. Um, you know, you've got your ebony fretboard. You've got your closed back tuners, which I haven't had any issues with. They're not Taylor stamps, so I'm not sure if they're just generic tuners, but haven't had an issue with. Um, also, I'm not sure if these are Tusk uh, saddles and nuts. I've had no issues with them. I think they're Tusk on my Grand Auditorium. Uh, they may be plastic, so don't quote me on that here, but um, never had an issue with the saddle or the, the nut as well. So a little bit about the electronics that you can get on this guy. Uh, like I said, there's a couple of different options. Uh, if you're familiar with, you know, the electronic systems on other Taylor guitars, you can get that ES2 system, which gives you the integrated volume tone, and I believe it's presence, uh, controls on the shoulder, obviously. Or if you go with no controls, no integrated electronics, for the GS Minis, at least, Taylor provides you what's called an ES Go system, which is just a passive pickup that actually pushes right into a, a existing slot on the guitar here. So you can see it right here. And then it just outputs through your strap lock. So I'm gonna show you what that ESGO system can do a little bit later in the video, but don't hold your breath to be impressed. It's not the greatest pickup. I think it kind of sounds almost digital when you record it. Okay with me. I use this mainly sitting on the couch, um, just finger picking, stuff like that. Uh, I usually never plug it in. Same with my other acoustic. I find I'm just kind of strumming with somebody else or strumming by myself. The need to plug it in just really isn't there. So my journey to the GS Mini um, really just came from looking for a travel guitar. Um, I was doing a couple of, of trips, you know, ski resorts, stuff like that. And I wanted something that was a little bit more mobile and something I didn't have to worry about as much. Um, and I wanted to find that kind of good travel guitar that still was a guitar and wasn't really that boxy type. I looked at the um, Martin Juniors, I looked at some Yamahas, I looked at the Baby Taylors and stuff like that, but everything I read kept coming back to these GS Minis. Um, to that, I went to my local guitar store. I tried, I think it was a Sitka Spruce one, just to see what it was like. Put it up against the uh, Martin Dreadnought Junior and also the, the Grand Baby Taylor and the Baby Taylor, and this one definitely stood out for me. 
Um, I would say probably on that list, the Martin was second. The Baby Taylor and the Grand Baby Taylor, to me, were just a little bit too boxy and sounded more like a travel guitar, where I think this one sounds like a guitar. So I decided to get a GS Mini. The next thing was to decide on the type. For me, it was pretty obvious that I wanted to get a mahogany one. I wanted something a little bit different than my Spruce Grand Auditorium. Uh, more or less just wanted to try something different. There was no real preference. There was a lot of comments online that said the Mahogany was kind of the best one at the time. I think Koa was released a little bit afterwards and that's since taken over, but um, I wanted to get the Mahogany one. The electronics weren't important for me and I didn't have to buy anything new. I was able to find this one in my hometown on one of the used websites. I think I paid 450 Canadian, which is probably 350 American at the time. Um, which is a really great price, especially with the included ESGO pickup. Um, I was very happy with the purchase. Um, no issues with it. Obviously, tried it before I bought it. And yeah, overall, great experience getting this GS Mini. So at this point, I'm going to look to answer some of the questions you guys might have. If you're looking to buy a travel size guitar, because I don't think there was a video like this out there really when I was, when I was looking for this, or maybe well, I didn't really find it, but... Um, you know, the questions I had were, you know, how this played for finger picking, how it played for strumming, um, you know, what's, what do you give up in the sense of loudness or fullness? And I'll try to show that all in a quick demo. Obviously there's probably lots of demos like this out there, so don't make this your only video, but hopefully it gives you a little bit of insight on what you can expect from the GS Mini, at least in Mahogany. And uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, if you don't, let me know and uh, I'll change it up next time. So I hope you guys liked that video of the Taylor GS Mini. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. If not, definitely let me know and we'll see you next week. Thanks.